Dear Dreamer, a friend loves at all times and perfect love casts out fear. There is no way I can talk about friendships and not talk about my forever friend. And because there's so much that I can say, I want to read you the dedication I wrote a few years ago. So to my forever friend, they all bought the smile I convincingly sold, but not you. Even when I succeeded at convincing myself, you saw beyond the facade straight to the heart of me. That's why I can't help but love you because you love me so perfectly, faithfully. You saw my tears, both the ones I cried and the ones that never made it to my eyes. You saw them both, and both the same, you gently wiped them away. Then you pulled me into your loving arms, and without saying a word or needing to, you held me. When I was silent, you held me. When the tears threatened to never stop, you held me. When I was angry, you held me. When I spoke words of doubt and frustration, you held me. Through it all, your persistent and consistent heartbeat of love was and continues to be like an anchor in the midst of stormy waters. And when I was silent again and wearily looked at you, your smile reassured me that we were okay for all that and so much more. I thank you. When I think about my relationship with God, It goes beyond religion. It's personal. When I first became a Christian, I had good intentions, but Lord, I was hard to be around. And some would say I was a little bit on the extreme side, to which I would have to agree. I was so desperate for change and for God to be pleased with me. My heart was in the right place. However, there were a few things that I got wrong. It was actually in one of my lowest moments when I was living abroad and away from everyone I knew and everyone who thought they knew me that I had the opportunity to discover and be reintroduced both to myself and to God. That's when he went from being this God out there to my friend and eventually to my forever friend. It wasn't in the moments that I was good that I got to know the love of God, but instead it was in the messy moments. A friend loves at all times and perfect love casts out fear. I found security in the love of my forever friend and it is that love that teaches me and continues to teach me how to love. And my goal is truly to be an extension of the love of God to an obviously bleeding world. That's it. In your corner, Valerie.